for a long time. The reason why I haven't been posting for a long time is because you know, I am very focused on this wedding. But I decided to go ahead and make this video for you guys just because everyone been asking how do I use this meal. So let's get into it. So um for this meal what we will be doing we'll be doing teriyaki chicken with fried rice but the thing is that our rice won't be fried i do not do all that fried kind of type of stuff so but the ingredients you will need is the mixed vegetable for the rice you'll also need um you know what the chinese they use which is the bean chinese product which is this um, if you really like this, you can use the whole thing, which I do. I use the whole thing. Um, I know you see two mixed vegetables. I'll be using these two because this is open first. So in my house, in our household, we'll do first or whatever is open first. We'll do that. Um, also, you'll use your eggs. These are the cake free eggs. Um, I love organic eggs or just the brown one. Um, you use how many eggs you want but we'll just be using parsley. Also for the ingredients for the meat, we'll be, using, we'll be using basil, we'll be using complete seasoning, adobo, and of course the garlic parsley. We'll also be putting scram. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I got my egg piece. I know it's not green. I ran out of ingredients, so I'm working what I'm working with. Um, of course, the teriyaki sauce and less sodium soy sauce and um this is the same thing same thing whatever so in right here i um i have the breast meat so the breast chicken so basically there was a whole breast chicken what i would do is slice it in half um i know you guys probably was like damn that's why well, you should have showed us well my bad but basically this is um Fresh chicken and they were just cut. They look like actually look like sushi. Don't they? It look just like sushi. But I cut them into like a medium small kind of type of piece. But what I'm gonna just do right here is just I'm just gonna basically marinate it and I'll mix it all together and then start frying it. So in right here I already went ahead and you can see I put the um, egg piece, I put the garlic, the garlic and parsley season, I put the complete season, I put the adobo, and I also put the basil. So what I'm just going to do is just mix this all in together. So now the meat and um, everything is basically meat, I mean, mixed into there and everything looks delicious already. I already won't take one and catch one out and pop it in my mouth. Let me stop. But now let's get to frying. No, just one or cold. So what you want to do, um, you don't want to cook it fully through. Like you want to cook it where you don't see no pink from the out, from the outside. Basically like this, where you don't see no pink from the outside at all. Just like this one. Um, and then basically you'll put it into another plate and uh, you're going to leave it there and you just work slowly through and then I will show you guys what we'll do next. So as you can see, I already took out all my meat out. There's a beautiful meat. I will be re-putting it into the pot so I can get it some kind of type of, you know, brown, brown marks that you've seen on the meat. Um, but for right 
now I'm about to go ahead and get started on our So there go the eggs. I already fried them. I just combined it and put them in a bowl with the shrimp. Because remember, all of this right here is going to be mixed in with the rice. So right now, what I have is my pot. So I'm about to put the chicken back in there so I can put the teriyaki sauce and the soy sauce all together and get this going. So as you see, putting the meat in. So what I just did is put the soy sauce with some of the teriyaki sauce from the leftover um, ones I have in the other bottle. And um, I'm just basically, you know, making sure each of the meat have some of the um, the teriyaki sauce with the soy sauce and everything before making it actually become thick and right now my stove is between six and seven so it's like a medium high mm -hmm. so this is exactly how the um, your meat should kind of be looking um, the sauce, you know, should be like getting thick. It's gonna get even thicker. I'm gonna just like, make it, you know, get like not too thick, but get to the density that you would like. Like I want my water free, but not too watery. You know, because I like the sauce on my rice, basically. So over here, I have the rice going on. Um, what I can put is of course oil and water and um, I put the mixed vegetables. So once it starts bubbling and everything, I'm going to go ahead and add the rice. Then once I add the rice and the rice, you know, start, like the water start, you know, dissolving, then that's when I'll be adding the eggs with the Chinese beans whatever you want to call it and the shrimp. So as you can see it is thick because the bubbles can barely get through. Uh, but this is exactly how the end result for your meat should look. So right here I already went ahead and add my rice. So right now we're going for it for basically the water right here to basically dissolve kind of and just like I said go ahead and put in the the eggs in the shrimp and also and also the Chinese string beans I call them Chinese string beans they call it Chinese beans or beans Chinese but I like calling them Chinese string beans because that's exactly what it looks like so the rice just finished and this is how the rice looks. So right now I'm going to go ahead and um, mix in what I said I was going to mix in. And this bowl. I'm going to be mixing everything in. I just did a separate use. I do it while it's in the pot. But I ain't feel like doing all that. See? You look like string beans. That's why I call it string beans. I do it. Can I see the eggs? The 
feel like some real Chinese food, y'all. Bon appétit! See you guys in my next video.